This video is sponsored by Meepo Board, the OG that made affordable electric skateboards a thing. Since founding the Meepo Board, Kieran has always made sure that every Meepo not only offers good value for money, but also packs a bigger punch than its competitors. If you are looking for a good value board that is tuned for power, check out Meepo at MeepoBoard.com. Today, we will be reviewing iWonders Cloud Wheels and Donuts. These wheels have caused quite a buzz in the e-skate community. People either really love them or really hate them. So what is the real deal with these fancy wheels? For those who don't already know, Cloud Wheels are $139 to $169 urban quote unquote off-road wheels that come in sizes 105mm and 120mm. I wonder also made a 105mm cloud wheel sleeve that can be installed onto hub wheels, which they named Cloud Wheels Donuts. The cloud wheels are marketed to be all-terrain wheels, but are these wheels actually good enough to handle off-road rides? And most importantly, how comfortable do they ride? To answer these questions, as usual, we'll begin with the specs. Cloud wheels are made of urethane with a 78A durometer which basically means they are very soft. The softness of the wheel comes from having a foam core. I wonder calls this technology dampening foam core, or DFC when they try to sound cool. I call it pretty bubbles inside the wheel. Besides making the wheels soft, this design allows the wheels to be a lot lighter than normal large urethane wheels, which helps improve the overall portability of a board. A softer wheel technically should offer more grip, but the opposite is true for the cloud wheels, due to the narrow contact patch. This contact patch caused the cloud wheels to have a distinct ride feel, and it's not for everyone. We'll talk more about that later. Function aside, how would you rate cloud wheels in the looks department? Are they pretty dope, or just okay? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Now, there are a few more things you need to know about the DFC core. Back when the first version of the Cloud Wheels was launched, it was using a regular ABEC core, which was known to crack for some riders. To address the issue, they enforced the core with nylon fiberglass, made the spoke thicker, and named it the Discovery Core. The latest Discovery Core used by Cloud Wheels may still look like an ABEC core, but it's not. Because the Discovery Core has a thicker spoke than your typical ABEC core, your regular ABEC pulley might not fit the Cloud Wheels. On the other hand, your Cloud Wheels pulley can go in regular ABEC wheels, but it'll have some slop, which won't be nice. Not to worry about the pulleys though, as I wonder has pulley kits available for seemingly every e-skate on the market. When it comes to compatibility, the Cloud Wheels Donut is nearly as compatible as its full wheel counterpart. Donuts are also compatible with a lot, but not all, hub motors. So be sure to still check the Cloud Wheels list if you want to buy a set. Installing the donuts will take around 15 minutes, depending on how fast you work. You just unscrew the bolts to slide out the hub motor's back wheels and replace them with Cloud Wheels by securing all the new screws. That's enough for an introduction, now let's talk about how the wheel rides. As mentioned, rider opinion on Cloud Wheels is pretty divided. People either like it a lot or strongly dislike it. Let's start with what it does well. The obvious benefit that the Cloud Wheels provide is a safer and smoother ride. I wonder's Cloud Wheels are basically semi-AT. We wouldn't dare to call them all-terrain or made for off-road, which is how they are marketed. However, at the very least, they provide significantly better cushioning on a roughly paved road. The ride will be less jarring. This is why Cloud Wheels are so popular among e-skate commuters who just want to go from point A to B safely, but find a bulky AT setup to be difficult to carry around. Don't forget, Cloud Wheels are a lot lighter than even standard PU wheels of similar size. If you don't care as much about carving and sliding and are mostly concerned about accidentally hitting pebbles that your wheels can't roll over and being thrown off the board, Cloud Wheels will serve you well. Likewise, if you are willing to trade some of the enjoyment you may get from riding on a freshly paved road for lesser vibrations on terribly paved roads, the Cloud Wheels are for you. The 105mm wheels are enough to make rough surfaces comfortable. 
The 120 millimeters do that even better while also opening up the possibility to ride off-road in some situations. For example, to handle grass, small cracks, and stone, the 105 millimeter wheels would do the trick. But when it comes to sand and pebbled roads, you would at least need the 120 millimeter wheels. Again, for a true off-road ride, you should still probably go for AT wheels. Next, let's talk about durability. It might come as a surprise, but the cloud wheels are quite durable. We rode the new cloud wheels for almost 200 miles and there was no chunking. We weren't exactly careful with the wheels either. Oh, by the way, the new Discovery Core holds up well without cracking for us. We also haven't heard about any issues with the new Discovery Core, so we think they are fine. What about the cons for the cloud wheels? As we mentioned, cloud wheels have a pretty narrow contact patch at the middle, so you'll get a less grippy ride. While the wheels never lost grip for us, it's wise to be extra careful when riding on wet surface. Lesser grip also means that carving became a lot less fun when compared to riding on street wheels. Let's just put it this way, carving on cloud wheels will never be as fun as carving on Kawamas, but it's still better than carving on 6 inch pneumatic wheels. Next, let's talk about the range. As Uncle Ben used to say, with great wheel size comes great battery consumption. Okay, maybe he didn't say that, but it's true. The bigger the wheels, the smaller the range. However, the range drain, although obviously present, wasn't as significant when it comes to cloud wheels. This is probably the result of the narrow contact patch on the wheels, resulting in better energy efficiency. In our test, going from 90mm hub motors to 105mm cloud wheels gave a drop of 25% in range. We got 16.8 miles on 90mm wheels, but when we started using 105mm cloud wheels, we only got 12.4 miles. On the flip side of things, if you are switching to the 120mm cloud wheels down from all-terrain wheels, your range will significantly improve. Now, given the specs of the wheels and the pros and cons, what's our verdict? The Cloud Wheels Donuts are dubbed as the savior of hub drives, and I would almost agree to that to some extent. The biggest pet peeve that many people have with hub motors is the vibration when riding on rough roads. Amazingly, Cloud Wheel Donuts basically solve that problem and allows a hub board to be ridden on bumpy pavement, grass, small cracks, and stones. A semi-AT wheel can be a game changer for your daily commute, and hub drives in general. The verdict on the regular 105mm and 120mm wheels is pretty clear too. If you like big wheels that can keep you safe, handle poor road conditions, and don't mind sacrificing the grippy ride feel of a street board, then yes, cloud wheels are a good choice. However, if you hate the idea of big wheels with a narrow contact patch, then you already know that cloud wheels are not for you. The 107mm super fly wheels or 110mm torque board wheels are probably the way to go for you in that case. As always, if you are looking to buy the cloud wheels, or actually any e-skate, be sure to use our affiliated discount code with the link below. It will help you get a small discount and help us out too. You'll also be tagged as an Electric Skateboard HQ customer and probably be treated better. Ride safe, guys.